Hello friends, here we have square root of 15 plus square root of 200. How do we simplify this? Let's focus on square root of 200. So it can be written as square root of 15 plus square root of 4 times 50 is equal to, we can also write like this, 15 plus square root of 4 times square root of 50 is equal to square root of 15 plus square root of 4 is 2. So we can write 2 times 50 is equal to, now let's focus on this 50. 50 can be written as 10 times 5. So we can write 15 plus 2 times square root of 10 times 5 is equal to square root of 15 plus 2 times square root of 10 times square root of 5. Now let's focus on 15. 15 can be written as 10 plus 5. So we can write it like square root of 10 plus 5 plus 2 times square root of 10 times square root of 5. Now let's take x is equal to square root of 10. So x square is equal to 10. And let's take y is equal to square root of 5. So y square is equal to 5. Now we will write our next step with using these values. Is equal to square root of. We have replaced 10 with x square. So x square plus 5 with y square. y square plus 2 and square root of 10 with x. So 2 times x and square root of 5 with y. So, so we have square root of x square plus y square plus 2xy. So this is an identical form and as we know it can be written as square root of x plus y whole square. Square root and square will eliminate so we have x plus y. Now x is equal to square root of 10 and y is equal to square root of 5. So let's reapply the original values. So we have square root of 10 plus square root of 5. We can still simplify this more. We can write is equal to square root of 10 as square root of 5 times 2 plus square root of 5. So is equal to square root of 5 times square root of 2 plus square root of 5. Now let's take square root of 5 common. So we have square root of 5 times square root of 2 plus 1. And that's the answer. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.